Hello friends, Regal Smith here, and I'm gonna share with you how to make a really simple, easy DIY gift that's thoughtful for friends and family. So we're gonna make spa balls. So they're basically a bath salt ornament. So you're gonna use plastic bulbs for this because we don't want them to break. And we're gonna fill them with Epsom salts and top them with a few of our favorite essential oils. So what we're gonna to make today are peace, elevation, balance, and serenity. Who doesn't want more of that this time of year, right? So very simple, you only need three ingredients to make these bath salts. First, of course, we need bath salts. So this is basic bath salts. You don't wanna have one that already has added fragrance like lavender or anything. We don't wanna add synthetics to our bath. Uh, we're gonna use the oils for that. So this is five bucks. This is six pounds that has 11 cups in it. So any kind will work. Then we are going to need our ornaments. So this is a box that I picked up at Hobby Lobby for $4, 50% off all the time. So four bucks, a dollar per ornament. I choose to use these bigger ones. I like the four inch ones because it holds two cups of the Epsom salts. So a lot of times when we do an Epsom salt soak or a a sea salt soak, we're not using enough salt. So really you wanna use two cups at minimum. So this holds two cups, it's perfect. If you wanna make smaller ones, you can. These will hold about one cup. So the choice is yours. I just prefer the big one and it's kind of fun to just hold that one in your hand. All right, and then the final thing we need are essential oils. Now you can use any um, blends that you like from doTERRA, any single oils or a combination of the two. I'm choosing today to make kind of this, this spa experience, so I chose to use Balance. This is for grounding. It's a great one to put in your bath. I personally use it every single day on the bottoms of my feet and right behind my ears. Another one that I enjoy is Serenity. This is to help promote a restful night's sleep. It's something that we diffuse in my baby's nursery and in our room every single night. We also have Elevation, which is one of my favorites. This is the Joyful blend. It's very uplifting and invigorating to me. And then finally, Peace, which really just has a beautiful name uh, all in its own to make with these basalt ornaments. It's earthy smelling, very grounding and relaxing for me as well. So it's a popular one that goes in my bath as well. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna put a cup down and our bath salt ornament because we don't want it to roll around. So this is the easiest way to fill it. We're going to make a paper funnel, super simple. Hold up your paper, tape up this seam right here. And then you're going to cut off the tip so that it fits right in there. So it's going to look just like this. Super simple. And then the fun part, we get to mix up our salts. Now, I've already measured out two cups. I'm going to just make one ornament, but later on I'm going to make a big batch. So you can just um, multiply it to whatever fits your needs. I would say per, per ornament, you're going to want to use about five to eight drops, maybe around five if you're using the small size, but I usually do seven or eight in this larger one. So today we are gonna make the piece. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna mix it up. We wanna make sure there's no chunks of the oil left. Mix it really well. Oh, this smells incredible. So really, you're only limited by your own imagination. You don't have to stick to these four oils. You can get really creative. Uh, there's a blend called Aroma Touch that I like to use in my bath. You could also get creative and start mixing some of your own, like frankincense and rosemary is a, a really, really wonderful one that just kind of smells like the holiday season to me. So really, only the limit is your imagination, so have fun experimenting with different blends. Okay, so once it's thoroughly mixed, the next thing we wanna do is fill our ornament. So we've created our funnel. I already know that all of this is gonna fit because I've measured it, so I'm just gonna pour it directly in that funnel. Okay, 
Go ahead and shake it down if you need to, it'll all fit. Okay. And then we're just gonna pop this top on and we're going to label it. I chose to use these cute little labels from Hobby Lobby. You can use whatever you want, but they were colorful and bright and I liked the different colors. So just tie that on with a little bit of twine. Pick whatever ribbon you like, tie that on, and then you have this gorgeous little ornament that you can gift to people. Now you wanna make sure you're not lifting it from the top and you wanna make sure the people you give it to aren't lifting it because it is pretty heavy and that can pop out. That's another reason we wanna make sure we're using the glass. Uh, but you can put a little glue if you choose, I don't. I just make sure people aren't lifting it. So the next thing I'm gonna teach you is how you can pair these for different people in your life. So how you can really customize this gift. So who wouldn't want the piece alone as a gift? That's a great gift. But if you have a writer in your life, perhaps, uh, or somebody really philanthropic or pensive, they really like to be thoughtful, you could throw in a nice journal with the piece and the ornament. So that's a great gift for a writer. You could also pair for the entrepreneur in your life. This is one of my favorite ones, is you can pair the elevation with a really fun inspirational book, a business book, or just an inspirational book. So this is The Big Leap. This is a book about conquering your fears, moving forward. Uh, it's great for somebody who hates their job and wants to do something different, or somebody who's starting a business or in their own business. It's all about working in your zone of genius. So that would be a great gift as well. Another one that's kind of fun is for a yogi in your life. So a yogi in your life may like some balance. You could pair the balance with a homemade yoga mat spray. So yoga mat spray, there's lots of different recipes, but basically you fill this with water and add about 20 drops of your favorite essential oil. So lemon melaleuca smells great. You could also do one with On Guard, uh, get creative, but very simple, thoughtful gift. You could even throw in a nice fuzzy pair of socks just for fun because who doesn't love fuzzy socks? And then finally, you could pair for the mom in your life or somebody who needs to take good care of themselves, have a little bit of relaxation time, is kind of a relaxation night. So the serenity with a bottle of wine or tea, depending on your person, you know them better, and then maybe some chocolates too. So a total relaxation night would be a really thoughtful gift. You of course could give all four of the bath salt ornaments together to be a total spa experience. I do have a friend who's going to receive all four of them with the oils and I'm going to throw in a massage as well. She's grieving and going through a life transition so that's a really nice way to package up some emotional support, self-care, and lots of love all in one box. So have fun experimenting. Do share with us your experiences. If you would like written instructions or more recipes for inspired living, be sure to check out blissmama.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.